Uh, have you ever heard any of Richard Cheese's music? Yes. Oh, he's so fucking oh, good. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yes, yeah. Isn't that uh isn't that um a disturbed cover? Yes, yeah. That's awesome. Yes. It's better than the disturbed song. No, it a lot of his songs. Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Come on, get up. Yeah. Also, uh what he did a rage against the machine. Oh yeah, the Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Anyway, hey everybody, welcome back to Shelves. He's done people equal shit too. What? From Slipknot. Oh. oh whatever. <laughs> I'm done with that conversation now. Ah, yes. Remember her? We just watched her fuck. Ha. <laughs> Also, neither of them out there care that this little girl is screaming. Uh, it happens all the time. They hear a little girl screaming <laughs> in, in their in their back room all the time. Nathan, what's up? My wife. Lord, they were coming back from my mother's. Oh, so she saw Fuck. his dead family. Jody, this is her know. fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so she could see dead people too? So you're gonna read me that bedtime story or what? Now you're my daddy. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lots of implications. This is not, no, no. What? This is not believable in the slightest. You mean when you find out your entire family is dead, you don't just sort of like have a single tear? <laughs> you know, just do the single tear thing? No, like, like that's ugly cry territory to the fucking maximum. Oh, absolutely. The mission. I don't know. I wish that just for oh, this once, is... just for once in a movie or game, when something traumatic happens, the character would just ugly cry. Yeah. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. What's my target? It's that guy that you're talking about. Oh, I wasn't listening. You're not going to pay attention, Jake. Yeah, no, I, you can't not. really criticize the game. Now, can you? Yes, I can. Now, can you? Yes, I can. You piece of shit. That's fine, but I can, I'm still going to make fun of the game. You can't do it. Yeah, I can. I'll stop you. No, you won't. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Just what? makes that noise. <laughs> He's like, oh god, I'm glad we already had sex because that's not happening with them. It's my fear noise. So like she was forced into being in the CIA. Yeah. Like, so she's like, this is slavery. Maybe she didn't pay, she's in a nice apartment. Oh. Oh, indentured servitude then. Yeah. Oh, that makes it okay. Well, at least there's game in here somewhere. Something interesting is happening. Something is happening for once. How did he not see me killing his friend? Don't. Don't. Wait, did they say no kills? I can't remember. Maybe. Well. Huh. Oh well. <laughs> Fuck it. What does this do? Is this another one of the... Like, fucking... Uh... Yeah, bonus. Oh. Cool. Can I, I kill him? Nope. I love bonuses. I love. What do you love? Bonuses. B bone what? Bone. I love. Bones. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, maybe we should go back. This being not a game. It's not that it's a game and we're just playing a game. Now it's just like, wow, well, there's nothing happening. Yeah, 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 well, also, like... What relevance does this have to the plot, or... It's because when she was in the army, it's what makes what her run away. What is the plot? Well, you, a, J, a, J, a girl, she's born, 
She's got like a like a weird thing. It's stuck in her head. And then uh, she goes to some parents or slash they're her parents. I think those are her parents, right? They're like her adoptive parents and we figure that out. Yeah. Anyway, uh, she gets some adoptive parents and there's like a snowball fight outside and some kid starts fucking with you. You're just listing a bunch of events that happen. And you choke them and then they get pulled inside. That's not that's not the pl- I mean, I guess that's kind of the plot. But that's you, that's you just giving me a Wikipedia wait, synopsis. Wait, no, you didn't let me finish. And then, uh, and then, they, they you get pulled and do some tests, and then your parents are like, "We don't like you anymore," so you choke your dad. Uh, everyone's dream. And then, uh, <laughs> uh, and then, Willem Dafoe's family dies. I don't know how to so go you're back kind now. of raised by him. And then when you grow up a little bit, you go to a birthday party, but the people there, they put cigarettes out on you, so that's no good. And then you go, you grow up, but you want to go to prom, but you can't go to prom. So, and then... (laughs) (laughs) So. So. That's the end of that. And then uh, the CIA comes and gets you, and so you train... And you go on some secret missions like this and that one thing in that embassy. And then something happens and you run away and you fuck up a bunch of people while you're running away. And then you find the Navajo. And when you get when, once you're at the Navajo, there's a Navajo spirit. and You got to fight that. So that's good. And then once you're done with that, you keep going. That's, that's the plot. plot. That's the plot. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, especially when you lay it out like that, it is fucking stupid. <laughs> like, all of those things are so random, and I didn't really... Like, I made them a little bit dumber t- for comedy, but not really. <laughs> like, not really. You know the thing that's hilarious about it? What? Is that, like... This, in a way... Okay, you remember in our Video Lames episode for Oh, Donkey I forgot Kong? when you were homeless for a second. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Oh, wait, sorry, you are saying? Uh... <laughs> Um, so, yeah, like, so yeah, do you remember, um, the Video Lames episode, uh, Donkey Kong Country? Oh, yeah. Where we were talking about that stupid game, and, or stupid show, whatever, yeah. and we were like, there is no structure to it, it's just a bunch of things that happen in succession, it's like, yeah. mo- usually in a story, something happens because of this, which yes. causes this, and then the effect is that. Whereas in in Donkey Kong Country, this happens and then this happens yeah. and then this happens and so on and so forth. Yep, that's basically yeah, this game. Yeah, well, absolutely. It's just a bunch of things that happen in succession. When I when you say like, and then she finds the Navajo, and uh, has to fight an evil spirit. It's like, is there like when I'm just saying, it's like, well, he had to have skipped some setup for that to make it funny. No, it's never set up. It's never talked about again. We still haven't, like, discussed that again. Like, that hasn't led to anything. Nothing has come of that. It just sort of happened. Yep. And now we're here. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, the thing about this game is that yeah. really, like, half the time is hilarious, and the other time it, it just, like, sucks the energy out of you. Yeah, it really like, does. really is just so nonsensical. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that there is no structure. And so, like, yeah. I just don't know what to do with it. Yeah. Because literally, like, it's just a bunch. It's like an ensemble they came here. game. Like, it wouldn't even, it doesn't even need to be the same character in each scene. It could literally be just be different characters every time, and it would have the same effect That's on it. That's a good point. Her character is sort of, like, nothing. Like, there is structure at the beginning. Like, I mean, the beginning in this, chronologically speaking, not the beginning yeah. of what we've played. But, like, in the sense that her, as a child, there was structure. Yeah. She had a, you know, a bad thing happen a bunch. Uh-huh. Because uh, she, she had an Aiden. Yeah. And uh, the parents didn't want her anymore and all that. Yeah. Once she reaches about adulthood, once, just, she, once yeah. she leaves Willem Dafoe. It's just stuff. It's just a bunch of different things that happen. Yeah, it's just a bunch of stuff that happens. And it's like, okay, this is the next stuff. Holy shit. Oh, God. Oh, good. Now we gotta go somewhere fucking else. Oh. Uh, uh, you remember that Navajo section where I was just like, oh my God, I don't care. Yeah. That was like four parts ago now. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Damn. He, you know, see, it's smart because he, he paces you 
so that all the parts that you don't give a fuck about happen at like crucial points in the game. See what I mean? It's genius. David Cage. I will suck your dick for how good this game is. DM me. DM me. DM me, David Cage. I'll suck your French cock. In a second, I will. Don't think I won't. Don't test me on this, David Cage. I'll do it. I would suck it. Seriously, I would actually suck his dick if he stopped making games. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want him to make. I want him to make games until the day I die. <laughs> I want to make a million games. I want to make. A, I want him to make eight sequels to this. All right, so I can't. I want him to make Beyond Ten Souls, where a, a young, I don't know, what's another like, like actress like Ellen Page. Uh, uh, Chloe Grace Moretz. Oh, perfect, perfect. A young Chloe Grace Moretz has a ten, ten interdimensional demons attached to her brain. Uh, and she's got to deal with that as a child. And uh, I don't know. Uh, Tom Hanks plays a doctor <laughs> who cares a lot about her. Tom Hanks is too dies. big. She. Willem Dafoe's pretty. Okay, Keanu well, Reeves. Willem Dafoe does Keanu weird Reeves. shit sometimes. Yeah, Keanu Reeves. Keanu there Reeves. You go. Keanu plays Reeves is perfect. A doc. For it. Yeah. And yeah, and it'll be, be called. It'll called. It'll be called Beyond Ten Souls. It'll be the eighth game in the Souls franchise. It'll cross over with Dark Souls. It'll turn out that this is the future of the Dark Souls universe. This and is the future of the Dark Souls universe? Yeah, because Dark Souls is like all ancient times or whatever. Is it? Yeah. Did they, they ever actually swords. establish that? That swords and stuff. It's like medieval times. Like, uh, swords. That's what you do with the sword. You got a shield and you got a sword. Have you ever, have you, have you ever yeah. wielded a sword before, Alex? Yeah, you got a shield They're and pretty a sword. fucking heavy. <laughs> no, you can't, no, no, you can't no. just you do can that. You like, gotta flop them. They're made of foam. What kind of sword is this? They're made of foam. Well, all swords are made of foam. I want to come towards you. He can't understand you. Yeah. Don't shoot me, okay? What? What? No, this can this can just be like a, a full metal jacket moment. I I need you now. Oh, now you need me. You need me when you were fucking that one guy. Fuck me. Wow, that's scary. Ow. Ow. I. Just cuts his fucking head off. Now. Oh! Oh, oh wow! Oh, and it's daytime. daytime. Now. Okay. Wow! It I got. Was, uh, uh, I didn't know that's how days worked in whatever country this is. Wow! We make a damn good team, don't we, Salim? <laughs> that's not my name. You racist piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Scott. Yeah. And now it's just midday. Yeah, the sun is very up. You know what else is very up? My dick. Jalps. Is Jalps your dick? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs>